Right, now I'm going to talk about Albert Einstein um, a little bit and the theory of relativity. Okay, it's one of the most famous theories ever invented, probably, I'd say, I guess, the second most famous theory after, after gravity in, in my life, really, that I've ever studied. Um, I started reading about the theory of re relativity when I was about 12. Um, I read a simply explaining relati relativity type of book. Um, and it basically means, the title says it all, oh, relativity, okay? And uh, the fundamental point of relativity is everything seems to be relative to where you happen to be observing it from at a certain time um, and a certain place. Basically, it implies that uh, if one person is observing some kind of um, action, perhaps, well, let's use the classic example of a train moving at a certain speed um, in a certain place, one person is observing it from over here, one person is observing it from over here, different relative points. Um, relativity sort of suggests that um, though they might be observing the same, the same um, event at the same time, um, it's still possible that they might see a delay of some sort. Um, and it just, like I say, really simply, you've got to keep this simple, it just means that everything happens to be relative to where you're observing it from. Uh, there's also the extremely famous equation E equals mc squared, okay? Now E stands for energy, which is an invented concept. Basically, Einstein invented the concept of energy. Um, energy, mass, amount, type, they've all been invented by humans to measure something that they've imagined or seen with the senses, their eyes, imagined in their minds. And this was Einstein's version, energy, um, a, fu a fundamental, universal um, measurement, I suppose, of, of change and uh, things like that, okay? Energy. Um, and basically the equation means energy equals, okay, to, this is the equation to get what Einstein invented as energy, the, the commodity that he invented, mc squared, okay, m is mass, c is the speed of light, squared, okay, so Einstein said if you, if you want to get the energy from any particular atomic reaction or universal happening of some sort, any kind of event in the universe, anything at all, if you want to get the energy from that, and what you need to do is times it by mass times it by the speed of light and square it and that should give you the resulting amount um, should give you the energy for that particular reaction whatever it be maybe it's me maybe it's a car moving along perhaps it's the uh, planetary motion in the universe um, who knows I mean that's, that's basically an invented concept energy okay um, there's also two theories of rel relativity the first one is special relativity invented in 1905 by Albert Einstein okay the second one was invented in 1915, or should I say written in 1915 by Albert Einstein, general relativity, okay, which uh, as I currently understand it, um, takes into account the bending of space-time due to the presence of mass in the universe basically, so space-time is implied as a universal constant that doesn't change or can't change, it's like a sort of a base against which we can measure things. Space-time means it means humans observing things and saying, right, the time is now, for example, I've actually got a clock with me today, right, it's, uh, let's see, just gone 14 minutes past three in the afternoon at the moment, um, and space-time is, it's just a way of saying, oh, this time um, in the universe, in space, this is this, or whatever, it's just a way of just sort of measuring things and having a base to observe from, that's what it is, basically, a relative base to observe from. Um, rather than just jumping into the universe in your head, basically, and just sort of swimming around, seeing what happens, basically. You need to, well, I've time believed, anyway, that we needed a, 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 a firm base to observe the universe from. Um, the bending of space-time due to the presence of mass is possible, but it's also not possible plus neutral, as I've said before. The main, the main problem with relativity um, which was based, which was trying to be a theory of everything, okay, relativity, that was the point of relativity originally, was to answer everything, the whole universe, all the atomic structure, all planetary motion, gravity, space-time, uh, all of it, okay? The main problem is it's based on the speed of light, it's an unchanging, unchanging singular universal constant, 186,000 miles per second, which implies, relativity implies basically that nothing, nothing ever could exceed the speed of light at all, ever. It's, it's described as an absolute unchanging universal constant. Um, and as you know, according to pro theory, it's also not universal constant plus neutral in pure theory. 
So it's missing its two opposite answers, you see. It's missing the opposite and neutral potentials. So Einstein only, only described one potential, the positive, if you like, and missed out the negative and the neutral potentials from, from this theory. And that's the problem, you see. So when you get things like black holes, like we've just been talking about, black holes are theoretically assumed to be stronger than the speed of light, you see. So if a black hole, even if a black hole can't be proven, in inverted commas again with the proof, um, can't be proven to be more or less um, powerful than the speed of light, it still puts a bit of a spanner in the works, you see, because if we've based all our equations and measurements of the universe on the unchanging speed of light as a universal constant that we can base everything on, we can start there and move from there to measure the universe um, in, I don't know, sort of measuring it in miles, things like that, time, measuring it in seconds. They're all inventive concepts by humans to measure their existence, basically. But, like I say, if we base everything on the speed of light, it's unchanging, and the speed of light changes, we've had it, haven't we? I mean, what do we do if we base, if we base the whole universe, the whole idea and understanding of the universe in physics on an unchanging constant, and it changes? What do we do? You know, I mean, what if someone like me comes along and says, well, actually, theoretically, in pure theory, there's the opposite point to that, plus neutral. I know it seems annoying, but if we're going to write a theory of everything, literally everything, that covers everything at all times, it can't need to rely on a deeper explanatory base. I can't assume and say, oh, it just proves itself, it just does, it just does. I could say that, but then someone else can just say, well, what about the opposite plus neutral? And I'm like, oh, okay, you've got me. You see what I'm saying? Intellectually speaking, you win the argument, so to speak, right? The only way, so to speak, that we can be completely, completely accurate about the universe and everything else is three simultaneous potentials at all times. If we provide all them, that's the only way to get 100% accuracy, so to speak. I have to say so to speak because it's covering myself. I'm saying 100% accuracy, which de denies the fundamental concept of human theory, which is a loop of change in a sense. Um, I know this seems confusing, but that's basically the, the basic, basic idea of relativity. The rest of it is full of extremely complicated equations, but they're all relative, you see. They're all about measuring the universe, uh, measuring the speed of light, and measuring other inventive concepts against other concepts. So we're measuring the speed of light against um, the pull of gravity, or the amount of energy contained within a certain planet, or a certain, a certain um, force within the universe, or something like that. And that's when it gets complicated. It's only, it only gets complicated when you try and name everything and measure everything because you introduce too many words and you just lose the points originally which are 1, 2, 3, negative, positive, neutral uh, I'm going to say some more about this but I'm going up to me 10 minutes now so I'm just going to stop this video, okay? And I'll make a new one soon